Hello and welcome back to another look at our media as it transforms into an Orwellian nightmare. Apparently taking 1984 as a strategy guide instead of a warning. No, this is, this is disgusting. I'd like to get here's exactly what happens when the media and people like Tim Ryan accuse me of engaging the Great, Re Great Replacement Theory. I'll you are exactly, peddling it. I'll tell you exactly what happens, Tim. You can believe in a border without being a racist. You can believe in the, the country without being a racist. Ohio Republican Senate nominee J.D. Vance sent the media into sputtering fits this weekend as he accused Democrats of intentionally flooding the country with illegals in order to change the demographics as he accused Democrats of intentionally flooding the country with illegals in order to change demographics and solidify power. Brilliant. Brilliant. The usual Democrat state media response to this is to, of course, call it racist and to accuse Republicans of spreading a dangerous right wing white supremacist conspiracy theory called replacement theory. Let me just state right off the bat to make it clear that I know nothing about this conspiracy theory and the only thing I know of it comes from the media. However, the Democrats have admitted openly multiple times that this is, in fact, their strategy. Democratic candidate Tim Ryan calling out his opponent J.D. Vance's previous comments supporting and amplifying the conspiracy theory that Democrats seek to replace white voters through their immigration policies. I would in fact make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. I'm the vice president of the United States. Okay, I have to stop this. It is absolutely not a conspiracy theory. Democrats on multiple occasions have admitted this is exactly their strategy. We think because of demographic changes in this country, I think that the Democratic Party is going to win Texas moving forward and the Democratic Party is going to be in power for the next 30, 40 years. The demographic change that's happening in America right now gives the upper hand to Democrats. The census that just came out especially drives home the point that Texas is next. It's a state where the demographics are changing in ways that are favorable to the Democratic Party. Demographic changes that help the Democrats. Democrats for a decade now, along with Arizona and Texas, have had on this sort of long-term project of, of trying to take uh, some red states across the Sun Belt and flip them blue as demographic changes are taking place there. Democrats should be asking themselves, as a matter of fact, why aren't they dominating the political landscape? Two decades ago, the influential book, The Emerging Democratic Majority, predicted they would due to demographic changes in the country. We, we, we've been predicting for some time that demographic changes were going to eventually move North Carolina, Georgia, Texas. Stacey Abrams and her former campaign manager, Lauren Gro Wargo, argued in a recent New York Times op-ed that any state can turn blue. Demographic change will pre precede electoral opportunity. If you look at what's happening in Georgia and in Texas, just the demographic changes alone over the last 10 years uh, gives us some measure of hope. In a few years, we're going to be a majority brown country. White people will not be the majority in the country anymore. This will be the first generation ever in American history uh, in which whites will be a minority of the generation at some point. As of 2007, every year, babies being born in this country, whites now are the minority. Demographics is destiny, right? The country is changing. I've been saying it here. Other people have been saying it here for years now, even before Donald Trump. The demographics is destiny. The white population is declining for the first time in history in America, while the number of multiracial Americans have more than doubled. You'll be announcing that we're calling the 38 electoral votes of Texas for the Democratic nominee for president. It's changing. It's going to become a purple state and then a blue state because of the demographics, because of the population growth. The growth in Texas has been almost entirely driven by non-white population growth, mostly by Hispanic and Latino population growth. It is the secret to the entire immigration debate. Demographic change is the key to the Democratic Party's political ambitions. This conspiracy theory has been increasingly echoed by many who are on the right. Those like Fox's uh, Tucker Carlson, uh, who continue to push dangerous and baseless conspiracies. <laughs> Now, this is where it gets hilarious because not only is Wallace plainly, obviously lying, but then Mr. Blow just says it out loud. White people will be replaced as the majority of the people in the country. That's not racist to say that, just it's just a fact. 
will allow me to retort. Yes, he just said white people will be replaced. It's funny how it's always this way with the left. First, they deny that they take an extreme position, then they admit it, then they demand that the extreme thing they were denying instead be affirmed and supported, or you're literally a Nazi. But back to Blow admitting what we all already knew, how is it a fact that white people will be replaced? Can he tell the future? I get that there are stats and predictions, but that's not set in stone or factual. If they allowed cross-examination on these shows, I'd ask, why are Democrats so gleeful about it? The white population is declining. It, it was always on the upswing. So that speaks to the beautiful diversity of America. It speaks to um, uh, how the, that population, will, the demographics will weigh in politically. Demographics will weigh in politically. White people will be replaced as the majority of the people in the country. That's not racist to say that, just, it's just a fact. The question becomes, why are you so upset about that? And why are you blaming that on elites or on Jewish people and on a conspiracy theory? Because in fact, it is just about birth rates and death rates. And yes, immigration does play a role in that. And yes, immigration does play a role in that. I don't know if I'm upset per se, but what's to be happy about? Then he asks, why do you have to blame the elites or Jewish people or on a conspiracy theory? But we've already established that Democrats openly encourage illegal immigration because they think that will lead to more votes and more power. He even admits at the end that illegal immigration is a factor. It's actually the factor. And it leads back to my original question, why are Democrats and their state media so gleeful about it? Growth in Texas has been almost entirely driven by non-white population growth, mostly by Hispanic and Latino population growth. I guess we shouldn't be surprised that the media just outright lies and changes history, but it wasn't that long ago that the media was outright admitting that the Democrats thought Democrats is destiny. They thought that uh, illegal immigrants going into red states would eventually turn them blue. And like, there's all these articles, even here in Politico in 2020, how 2020 killed off Democrats' demographic hopes. And their demographic hopes were that white people would be replaced with illegal immigrant voters. And why are birth rates and death rates contributing in the first place? Mr. Blow doesn't care, nor does the rest of the media. Well, I think I've raised my blood pressure quite enough at this point, so I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like button, share this video, subscribe, and leave a comment to vent some frustration. Thanks a lot.